Hey and welcome to this tutorial on recreating the VBC rack by Slate Digital using Nebula instances and Aqua plugins. Uh, so the VBC rack is uh, right here and it hasn't changed its GUI since 2013 or so when it came out. We've got the FG Grey, that's the SSL 4000G bus comp. We've got the FG Red, which is the red compressor by Focusrite. And then we've got the FG Mu, which is essentially a Fairchild 670 slash Manly Very Mu. And we've got the ability to change the attack and release times independently. So it's a little bit different to the 670, but it definitely looks like one. Uh, you can see here I've actually oversampled this uh, four times to give it a bit more of a chance um, as it seems to perform better oversampling it as Slate Digital plugins seem to um, normally do anyway. Let's have a look at the um, Nebula version I've got. For the SSL 4000G bus, I'm using LBus V2 by Tim Petherick. Uh, this is essentially um, two plugins. One's the compression and then one's the uh, saturation, which is labeled pre. And as you can see here, it says plug-in preamp after the compressor. Uh, this is a skin by Asimov, which I'll link in the description so you can check it out if you've if you've got this um, Nebula uh, plugin. Next is the Focusrite Red, and I have to use the FG Red as I couldn't find a Nebula or Aqua instance, and I thought I'd just keep to using um, the Slate Digital one instead of finding a different one. I've turned the drive all the way down in this, and that's because the drive essentially has been covered by. Uh, Henry Alonga's Mojo 96 kilohertz down here as you can see it's uh, I've got red 3 and this is describing that it's not doing any compression it's got tone only but if I go to for instance this one we've got pass through so I um, want to get some tone only for this it's so designed to be used alongside a compressor essentially if you've got something of that line so this should be in line with the FG red essentially and then finally I've got the Fairchild 670 and this has been covered by Ultramarine um, I'm not engaging the pre as the pre is where the harmonic saturation lies and I've got it on um, speed number four which is the slowest as it goes uh, one two three four in terms of speed this attack this affects both attack and release times and then five and six are both auto modes so they're uh, a bit faster than four so four is the slowest let's have a quick look at the track we're affecting um, in today's little demonstration so I've got this track and I've got it uh, off the CambridgeMT.com. It's called Sea of Leaves and it's a really great track. And I thought this would be perfect for giving VBC a run for its money and then trying out this uh, VBC chain, essentially using Nebula plugins. It's sort of a punk rock track. It sounds terrific. Anyways, have a listen to this track. Here we go. Alright, let's have a look, listen to this track with, let's go with VBC first. So let's put this on and see how we go. Sounds really good. Uh, already this is sounding a bit livelier. It's Right from the very get-go, you can hear that it's adding a bit more um, high-frequency information in through the harmonic saturation. So if I just go to here and then put it on. Yeah, it's much more in your face. It's grittier. It's got all that. Um, it's it's going to go well for rock music, basically. So let's have a look at the Nebula version and see how that sounds. So let's go from the same place. Okay, cool. Let's have a, a think about the um, what the differences are so far. I mean, well, we could just keep. Let's keep going. Actually, let's go to the next section and uh, see how we get on. Like this is without any plugins. Cool, 
let's go from Let's go with which plugin we got here. Let's go with VBC first. Um, All right, um, let's go with the Nebula version now. Here we go. Um, this is interesting already. It's uh, you get you obviously hear, hear a huge difference between not having any compression on and at all. Uh, so with the VBC rack versus absolutely nothing, uh, let's just try that out again. So without. Try and game match it a little bit more. Somebody. Let's go to here. Okay, I'm happy with that. There we go. So that's pretty much game match now, I think. Um, I'm always going to do it by ear, never really just with um, meters because the meters don't tell everything. And a lot of people perceive these things differently anyway. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at this next section here. Let's go to here without, with and without uh, the plugins. <laughs> instead. Right, getting some nice differences there and with the drums especially. Um, let's now go to the next section here and check it out. So there's a bit of a difference there in a few parts. I can hear, for instance, the hi-hats um, much clearer in the Nebula version than VBC rack. We'll just have another listen to that little bit here. It's around about there. Um, let's have a quick listen to VBC then Nebula. <laughs> VBC rack, it does well at the very, very beginning, 
but it starts to lose it essentially um just as we're getting through about here you, the hi-hats are tailing off and they're starting to become a bit indistinguishable from the rest uh in the higher frequencies but with nebula they're really holding themselves up and you can start to tune into those hi-hats and you can start to even hear like the swishing of the hi-hats it's, it's really good so let me just go and show you without <laughs> Nice, and now with It's great. They, I mean, it becomes easier to hear those hi-hats. So if I go put BBC Rack on. Yeah, it's around about here. They just disappear in a way. I can't hear them. Um, but they're they're around at the beginning, but then they suddenly just you know are out of the picture. So what we what this is really doing for the the sort of VBC Nebula rack is it's allowing us to tune into these parts a little bit deeper and get a better picture of them, um, which is exactly what's going to give more of this song a bit more interest, you know, a bit more kind of like um, immersivity for the for the person listening to it. Uh, it's really interesting. I, I I could go on about this. Honestly, it's really amazing. Let's just have another look at the. Let's go to the beginning um, here. somewhat just a little bit of a kind of the roundness isn't very isn't as round as say with the nebula one we're we're starting to with nebula it's kind of really smooth in terms of like what we're what we're listening to you can everything is bulging in a way which is kind of like feels you know it feels like it's doing it it's a nice kind of healthy sort of tight bulge in a way i've just hard to describe what's going on um, but with VBC rack, it's kind of coming out a bit kind of gritty, essentially. So uh, let's just go ahead and play without any plugins again. Uh... Cool. There's some there's some nice gelling there. You know, you got your guitar, bass. You got the, they're both gelling quite nicely together. But let's have a look with the Nebula rack again, sorry. The the rhythm guitar and the bass, they're just like killing it together. They're they're doing great. The voice is occasionally coming out a bit sort of spiky in a way, but let's go to VBC rack and see what that's like. train thing it's coming out a bit too strong it's sort of a bit too much of uh, the tr sound um god well what well, yeah we could go on and on. i could go on and on about this essentially let's have another look at this <laughs> It just seems like we're there. We're kind of with this group, and we're going along with them. So. It's so it's so it's so much harder to decipher. It's almost like looking at a picture. Um, with a frame around it and it's sort of a bit grit, gritty this picture whilst it really felt like with the nebula version that this is almost like a trailer in a cinema or something it's just hitting you so hard that you know the vi the vividness of this image is coming straight at you <laughs> It's 
it's almost like say someone the guitarist's mum is tuning in and listening to this song they'll be like yeah i can really hear him stand out in this song the way he's playing is or they're playing or she's playing is just like they they're doing so brilliantly well they're really into this song when you got the vbc rack on it's like you're not getting a proper picture of it it it's... It's definitely flatter. There's no doubt about it. This, uh, the sort of micro parts at the end of each of these notes, they're kind of just, they're, you know, they're they're there, but they're kind of um, not well shaped. The shaping is great in Nebula. That's all I'm going to say. Well, the one reason why I can think this is a uh, more successful than say the VBC rack in my eyes is that. Um, we have a lot more control over each of the different sections. With VBC Rack, it's uh, you know big selling point is compared to Nebula because this is very important to, uh, you know to a lot of people. It's only forty two samples for its latency, whilst the Nebula uh, chain is nineteen thousand four hundred and thirty and seventy three samples, which is crazy long. So that's completely completely unusable for live. Um, so you'd never be able to use that at all. With uh, the ability just to go freeze it, you know, freeze tracks up, up to here, it will take all the um, CPU usage out as well because it's much more CPU intensive as well. You can also just go and save this effect as a chain and then you can kind of bring it back in whenever you like. So I've gone ahead and done that already. So down here in my uh, effects chains, uh, let's go have a look. And bring this over so if i wanted to bring this uh go to chains containers fairchild uh aqua and mojo and i could just bring that in and it will do it all straight away the other reason why this is uh, a little bit better is that there's so much more control over each stage like with the trim gain here this is essentially how hard you're hitting the saturation and then you can even just give it more harmonics so the harmonics can just all come up um, at you know an extra was this 15 decibels which is crazy because um that makes it a lot stronger with the mojo you've got the gain drive which is finding out where that sweet spot is in terms of like how many um vectors you're going to be hitting um hitting um and then you've got the harmonics level again and you've got the output so and that's on every single one of these things and getting it just right is really part of the magic, I suppose. But it doesn't take too long. It, it doesn't take a huge amount of time. And I honestly think I've done... I did this quite quickly because I started off with this Nebula version rather than the VBC rack and got the VBC rack to try and sound it... You know, try and make it sound as close as possible. So there we go. Um, amazing stuff. And definitely be using the VBC Nebula again uh, in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for staying with this sort of showcase uh, slash tutorial and uh, hope to see you in the next one cheers bye bye